Jay. Welcome to Press Play, Emma. That made me think, it'd be cool to be in a band. We should totally form one. Yeah? What kind of music will we make? Um, well, we both love Jesus, so we can make music about Jesus. As for the style, what about angsty 2000s? I love Jesus, yes I do. I love Jesus, how about you? Sure. Okay, well, what about opera? No. Oh, <clears throat> okay, got it. Um, rock and roll? Mm -hmm. I love Jesus, yes I do. Hello, Jesus, how about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jay, forming a band is a really cool idea, but where would we find other bandmates, a place to make music, a band manager, and all that stuff? Um, hmm. That could work. The Three, two, one, one press play! play. Whoa! Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at this. You know, I think it's a studio where you make Music. <laughs> sure as shooting it is. <laughs> uh, grandma, hey. what are you doing here? Well, come on now, I'm grandma off the clock. You can call me Miss Business. Oh. I'm your band manager. And you two gotta hurry up and make some music cause uh, I'm paid by the hour for this studio space. Um, uh, oh, okay. And, and don't worry about a band name, I already got it. It's gonna be Emma and the Stray Cats. My cats are gonna be your backup dancers. Look. They're all warmed up and everything. Why is it Emma and the stray cats? Oh, yeah, well, uh, they're not strays, but stray cats just kind of sounds cool. No, I mean, why isn't it Jay and the stray cats? Ooh, you're the lead singer, Emma, okay? Now go on, get in there, lay down some vocals. Oh, Come on. No, no, I, I, I can't do it. Hey, 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 look, show you can, Emma. I've heard you sing, and you have an awesome voice. Well, thank you, but I don't, I don't feel ready for all this. Come on, hey, look, Emma. This business has absolute confidence that you are gonna absolutely rock this. Okay, but I can see that you're not so convinced. Hmm. You know what? There's a Bible story where a guy named David felt the same way as you're feeling right now. I think it's from 1 Samuel 15 and 16. Mm. I've actually trained my cats to uh, act out Bible stories, so here they go. <laughs> so the people of God, the Israelites, they wanted an earthly king. Mm -hmm. So God, because God loved them so much, he gave them one. Mm. His name was Saul. God had a messenger named Samuel anoint Saul as king. Basically, okay, now this was God kind of saying to him, you're the one, you're my main cat. Okay, but to be the main cat meant that Saul needed to obey God. His heart had to be for God so that he would obey God even in those kind of tough situations. Mm. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, totally, Saul would have to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, in Samuel 15, Saul got into a tough spot. Mm. Saul was supposed to lead the Israelites in the battle against the Amalekites, and God was going to give Saul the victory, and for reasons that only God knew and only God needed to know, Saul needed to take out everything. Mm. That meant not taking anything with them from the victory. No cattle, no gold, no silver, nothing. That's a pretty clear direction. Yeah. Sure was, but uh, guess what? Saul didn't do it. <laughs> Instead, they kept what they thought was good and destroyed everything else. Oh, but God said. Yeah, God said. So because Saul didn't obey the very clear instruction, God told Samuel that Saul would no longer be king, AKA no longer the main cat. Woof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Samuel was pretty bummed, but God told him that he had chosen another main cat. Now, Samuel was to go to the house of a guy named Jesse. Okay, you following me? <laughs> One of his sons was going to be the new king. Now, Samuel went on over to Jesse's house, and Jesse brought out his sons one by one. Seven cats passed, and then Samuel said, in Samuel 16, 10 through 11, the Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, now, come on, are these all the sons you have? 
What? Seven cats were not enough? Well, they weren't really cats, Jay. That they're just for telling the story. Oh. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, okay, so Jesse told Samuel that there was just this little kitten of the family, okay? His name was David. <gasps> he was out over watching over the sheep. Jesse didn't even bother to have him come. But when David, that little kitten, walked in, Gog said right then and there, this is my new main cat. David was anointed king. Can you imagine how he felt? He was probably afraid, mm -hmm. unprepared. No. Maybe feeling a little weak. Eesh. You know, how could someone like him become a king? But Samuel 16, 13 says, from that day on, the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. <laughs> David didn't need to feel weak when he had the help of a strong God. <laughs> and guess what? That same strong God is gonna be with you when you sing. Wow, what a cool story. Your cats really did a great job of acting it out. <laughs> Very believable. Well, thank you so much. All right, back to uh, Miss Business. Oh. Are you ready to go, kid? Yes. Um, what do, what, what, what do I sing? Well, just sing what you're feeling. Yeah, oh, maybe sing about the story that you just heard. Okay. God, you're with me when I Absolutely perfect. It was beautiful. <laughs> you know, and it sounds like the beginning of a hit. Leave the mixing to me. Y'all better do the press play handshake. I'm gonna get to mixing. Join us. <laughs> God, you're with me when I'm weak. <laughs> That's catchy. <laughs> Let's recap. We pressed play and found ourselves with Grandma, I mean, Miss Business, in the studio where Emma and the Stray Cats recorded a bit of our first song. We also learned about Samuel 15 and 16. Saul didn't obey God, so he wouldn't be the king of God's people anymore. Instead, God chose the youngest of Jesse's sons, you know, David, the one watching over the sheep. He was the smallest and youngest and least likely person. He might have felt pretty weak, but God was with him in a powerful way. Is there a situation in your life where you feel weak? Remember, God is right there with you. It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of 1 Samuel chapters 15 and 16. God chose a man named Saul to be the king of Israel until one day when Saul disobeyed clear directions from God. God sent Samuel, God's messenger to Saul. Samuel told Saul to attack a group of people called the Amalekites. God said very clearly to destroy everything and leave nothing. But when Saul and the Israelites fought against the Amalekites, they destroyed almost everything and kept some things. They took the best animals and Agag, the Amalekite king. This meant that Saul did not obey God. This was really bad. God needed to know Saul the one God chose as king would listen and obey. And Saul chose not to. Because Saul did not listen and obey God's clear directions, Saul would no longer be king. This left the Israelites without a king. Being without a king was a weak place to be. But God was with the Israelites and was already on it. God sent Samuel to a man named Jesse. One of Jesse's sons would be the next king of Israel. Jesse brought out seven of his sons, but none were the one. Samuel asked if there were any more sons, and there were. Jesse's youngest son, David, was taking care of the sheep. When David came, God told Samuel to put oil on David's head and anoint him as king. From that moment on, God's spirit was powerful with David. David may have seemed like the weakest of his brothers, but he was the one God chose to be the next king. God was with David the smallest son of Jesse. God was with the Israelites when they had no chosen king. And God is with us too. Whether you feel weak, like the problems are too big, or like you can't handle things, come to God and say, God, you're with me when I feel weak. Psalm 147, 7. Sing to the Lord 
with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. 